production value video here. Um, so in just under two months, I've built up my tolerance from thinking sauces like Cholula were spicy uh, to eating a one chip challenge. <clears throat> I've eaten a number of these. Uh, this isn't a show off video, so I am gonna react to it. Um, it's impossible to not react to these. Um, there's a, a time limit kind of thing where, you know, if you make it one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, or an hour, if you're immortal, uh, without drinking water, I can do the hour, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it first and I'm going to talk to you about how I built up my tolerance and in real time, you're going to see the reactions that I have to this chip. Um, <clears throat> you know, like I said, it's not a show off thing. Um, I do react. Um, it's not going to be a crazy reaction, but nonetheless, it's there. So I'll shut up and I don't want to get this in my eyes, so I'm going to lick it off. <clears throat> so for about the first minute, the heat is generally around a two or a three. Um, <clears throat> the second and third minutes are the worst. I do get a throw reaction. So uh, one of the effects of capsation is it coats your nerves um, and your nerves have the same reaction as they would to like heat or fire. So every time I swallow these things, it affects my throat a little bit. So you're going to hear that in my voice. Um, my eyes will start watering here in about a minute or two, uh, but about three minutes in, um, I'm probably going to be at the worst of it. And then by minute five, I'll be fine. <clears throat> so there's that. These chips are very dry. So even as I'm licking it off my hands, um, <clears throat> there's still more on my lips. You know, let's just hope I don't wipe my eyes on my sleeve later, right? <clears throat> So, I'm starting to get into that eye-watering um, phase of the reaction. Starting to get some heat in my throat. But, um, I guess it was a, a couple of months ago. But it's October now. But back in July, um, I wanted to set the goal of being able to uh, eat Carolina Reapers. Like one of those Mount Everest things because it's there. Um, and back then, uh, store-bought hot sauces were hot for me. You can see my eyes are watering now. <clears throat> and so, um, I went to this really useful channel, really helpful channel, uh, called Chase the Heat, a guy that goes by the name of Johnny Scoville. <clears throat> and he talks about how to build up your tolerance, um, to peppers. It's so not like alcohol, you know, where the more you drink beer or, or liquor, or whatever, your tolerance goes up. Building your tolerance for capsation is a little different. So, you know, with alcohol, like the more beer you drink, the higher your tolerance gets, right? It doesn't really matter what alcohol you drink, just so long as you're drinking it. Um, I'm getting some stomach pain now. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, the way you build your tolerance with capsation is whatever your max level is, you have to exceed that if you want your tolerance to come up. So whatever your max is, let's say your max is here, your tolerance will always stay below that, right? So if you eat the same, if you just stick to your max, your tolerance will not go up. You have to exceed it before your tolerance goes up. 
that means you have to take things on before you're actually ready for them, right? So legitimately before you're ready, you have to push yourself into a pain zone where it hurts. Um, then after that, your previous maximum will be tolerable. Um, and so that's what I've done. So um, I wanna talk about how I did it. Um, and again, check out Chase the Heat. Uh, he's a much better channel than I am. Uh, I'm just a dude on YouTube. <laughs> If you found your way to this video, it's probably on accident, quite honestly. Um, so the way I built up my tolerance was this. Uh, this sauce here, the bomb, uh, Beyond Insanity, it's probably, if I had to pick one sauce for training yourself, it would be this one. Um, it says it's lab tested at 135,600 Scoville units. So, I don't know, you can pause it and read that. And I don't know, maybe it's in focus, maybe it's not. But it says, um, we started with hot habanero peppers and blended them with smoky chipotle peppers and natural pepper extract to create a sauce that was lab tested at 135,600 Scoville units. Wicked beyond belief. <clears throat> so now I'm on the tail end of the reaction now. Um, things are getting easier for me and it's gonna get better from here on out. Um, so it says, warning, this sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of the reach of children. Consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. Um, and I would say that's accurate. Um, even though it's at only at 135,000, but I have these other sauces. So like these are Carolina Reaper sauces from Hellfire. And no, I don't get any kind of financial kickback or sponsorship or anything from these. These are just ones I landed on. Um, I've eaten a dried Carolina Reaper. This stuff um, to me is much hotter than it suggests at 135,000. It sticks like napalm. So maybe Maybe the ratio of capsaicin in it um, is low, but it sticks and it burns like fire. Um, <clears throat> it's not cheap, it's like $20 for this little bottle. But like I said, if you're gonna buy one, buy this one. Uh, and then just keep working your way up, right? So once it got to the point where I could eat this without my ears ringing, it, yes, it actually made my ears ring. And then I went up to the next level, which is by the same brand, the Bomb Evolution. Supposedly, this is 500,000 Scoville units, but I actually have an easier time with this than the Beyond Insanity. Uh, like I said, I think this is underrated. <clears throat> and so every few days, just keep working your way up the ladder. So whatever it was you couldn't tolerate before, you won't be able to tolerate it until you go to the next level, right? So... I just kept going and going and going uh, up until I got to this guy, which is the <clears throat> hottest sauce in the world without extract. I don't know if that's true. Oh, I just almost right wiped my eye, didn't I? <clears throat> but I can tell you, this stuff um, is not the hottest sauce I have. Uh, this stuff, Hellfire Doomed, uh, is, is no joke. So... Through and through, it's rated at 2.79 million Scoville, which is about double the Carolina Reaper. Now they say they spiked it with an extract that's at 6.66666 million Scoville units, uh, but the overall sauce test at 2.79 million, uh, and I believe it. It's the only sauce I have that hits harder than than this. So. Um, that's how you work your way up with the tolerance. Now, when it comes to handling these, <clears throat> um, or handling anything spicy, so Ed Curry, the guy that created the Carolina Reaper, um, supposedly said, I got this from a guy, so somebody, an internet stranger said that Ed Curry said this, right? You know, for one, and this is common sense, never eat one of these on an empty stomach, and that sounds like common sense, but nine times out of 10, 
But if you're just at some social gathering and one of these comes your way, chances are good you haven't just recently eaten, right? So you want to have a full stomach when you go to eat this, especially if you plan on swallowing it <clears throat> like I did. You're going to want food in your stomach. Um, on top of that, fill it up with liquids, water, milk, whatever it is. You want your stomach to be full, full, full if you're going to swallow one of these because uh, you want it to be diluted and spread out throughout your digestive tract as much as possible. If you don't, you're going to get some really, really bad cramps and some really bad stomach pain, and there's not a lot you can do about it once it passes through your stomach and, and goes on its journey. It's going to be a day of hell uh, if, if you don't. So fill up your stomach on carbs, and that was from Ed Curry. Fill up on carbs, so... In my mind, that means either pizza or spaghetti. Um, fill your stomach up, right? <clears throat> fill it up with carbs. You may want to opt for some Pepto-Bismol as a chaser later, just because um, capsation itself doesn't cause uh, ulcers or anything like that. But you may not realize that you have a gastric issue until this stuff passes through, right? and you will discover that there are parts of your digestive tract that got problems that you had no idea existed um, and you will feel it uh, so just yeah chase it with some pepto-bismol uh, if you're eating one of these and you start to have an immediate reaction that is overwhelming do not drink anything that will make it worse you spit it out the worst of the reaction lasts about five to ten minutes don't swallow anything. In general, you shouldn't swallow anything the first minute anyways, right? Um, but spit it out. Do not use liquid. You chew bread and spit the bread out to help scrape it all out of your mouth. And you're just going to have to white knuckle grip something and deal with the pain for about five minutes. Um, if you drink something, even milk, any liquid, all that's going to do, because this is not a normal, this is not normal pepper, see? Any kind of liquid is just going to spread it around on your mouth uh, and it will make it worse. Milk is not strong enough to neutralize these things, so it might take a little bit away for a few seconds. And then as soon as the milk is out of your mouth, you've got an even bigger problem on your hands. Uh, so you don't want to do that. You'll see videos all the time of people eating these things and then they, they go running for a drink too quick and then they have an even bigger reaction. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Don't do that. Um, have some have some bread on hand. You know, just be ready to chase it up with some bread or chips or pizza. Anything that is kind of spongy and rough, you can take a bite of it, roll it around in your mouth, use it as a sponge, right? Scrape out your mouth and then spit it out in the trash or the ground or somewhere else. Um, also not a bad idea to have some tissues on hand, some wet wipes for your hands, which I don't use, but um, you might want some if, if it's your first try, just to just to be careful. Um, as far as knowing when you're ready, if you've never taken one before, I would say that once you're able to tolerate a proper Carolina Reaper sauce, oh, and this is the other thing about sauces, you see how there's sauce stuck in the neck of these? That means that these are using pepper mash. If it's just a sauce that doesn't stick, that's just watery, those sauces are no good. Um, they're not concentrated enough. You need a sauce that has some concentration to it where it sticks in the neck of the bottle. Um, that's how you know you have a good proper sauce that actually has a high pepper content. Uh, otherwise, sauces like Cholula, Tabasco, all those real, real watery, runny sauces, Frank's Red Hot, um, no good. Um, not good to train up on. Um, you're going to want something uh, sticky like this. So once you're able to go up to, and, and you'll see, especially if you go on Amazon, um, on Amazon, hot sauce manufacturers will usually rate their uh, hot sauces on a scale of 1 to 10, right? You want to be at least at, like, so if you look at the Hellfire sauces, you at a minimum want to be at an 8 out of 10 sauce. Maybe a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Obviously, that's better. Um, 
but you want to be able to be high up on the uh, in, in the sauces before you uh, before you try one of these. That's if you want to be able to tolerate it without water, um, without freaking out or having an explosive reaction. If you want the explosive reaction, just don't build your tolerance, and uh, you'll you'll get what you wanted. Um, <clears throat> other than that, um, I mean, at this point, I think I'm good. Um, I hope this helps somebody. I hope you can achieve your goals. Like I said, it took me just under two months. Actually, I think it was, it was probably about a month and a half, maybe, maybe six weeks, six, seven weeks, um, to get to this point. Um, and I just bought all these off of, U off of, uh, not YouTube, off of Amazon. Uh, these are all, um, like $20 bottles. So... Uh, they're not cheap, uh, but you get what you pay for. Um, and yeah, for about 80 or 100, 80 to $100 invested in hot sauces, uh, then these come pretty easy. So, hope this helps. <clears throat> and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I want to hear it. Oh, hey, I made it 16 minutes. Well, I guess maybe 15 total, but... Uh, yeah, so that makes me the whatever, whatever the 15 minute mark is. Great. I'm still not going to drink anything, but whatever. All right, thank you guys.